Welcome back to Africa 54. In parts of Africa, colleges are few and come with high price tags. Uh, the problem has inspired a Nigerian man to create his country's first private online learning institution. Viewers Mary Ali Salinas has the story in today's Student Union. Students here at the University of Lagos are lucky. They are able to attend a university after completing their secondary education. According to 24-year-old entrepreneur Gase Yukonwoki, less than one-third of Nigeria's 1.5 million students who finish their secondary education each year gain entry into a local school of higher learning. He is hoping the online university he founded Benny American University will make it easier for African students to continue their studies. In an online university, you can take in as many students as possible. You can get professors from across the world. You know, we have professors who are in the U.S., we have professors in Malawi, we have professors in England. Yukonwaki previously gained acclaim for starting the Student Circle Network, a social website for students, teachers and institutions that shares free of charge, academic resources from 200 universities from around the world. But can the online university, founded in March of 2012, be as successful? The course offerings are relatively limited compared to other universities, and the tuition of $750 per semester is still too expensive for many. In time, Yukonwoki hopes to expand the number of courses offered and lower the cost of tuition. About 200 students are currently enrolled in Benny American's online classes. Among them is Andrew Ebigori in Lagos. But I get to interact with students and learn from lecturers, some seasoned lecturers around the world, professors and all that. And it's, it's good because I interact, I learn, I do everything. That I, I, as, and I don't leave my house, which it, it makes, it makes, it, it makes it superb. But critics like Lagos University professor Dudu Ajayalemi argue Nigeria is not ready for online classes. He says the country doesn't have the necessary infrastructure, especially when it comes to the power supply. We need to have constant supply of electricity. You need to have the computers and the technology that for you to be able to benefit maximally. The professor also says Nigeria should focus first on tackling poverty along with improving the electrical infrastructure. But you can walk he counters saying that Nigeria and the rest of Africa cannot afford to wait with so many people out of work and enduring economic hardship. There's a high level of un unemployment across the world. And one of the things that can actually deal with unemployment is entrepreneurship and empowerment. He says every degree program at the online university requires students to complete a program on entrepreneurship. Yukonwaki explains the goal is to help more Africans create jobs, requiring fewer of them to have to go search for them. Mary Alice Salinas, VOA News, Washington.